Hi, this is Lorenzo, and I'm going to be doing um, well, a quick review or a comparison of medically important organisms. Um, this is going to be for microbiology, and um, in here, as you see in this, I provided you guys um, a graph and table uh, of one that's on the starting on the left-hand side. It's characteristics. And next to that is viruses, bacteria, fungi, and protozoa and helminths. Helminths. And helminths are nothing but uh, just tapeworm, worms, or any or any subspecies of worms. So let's talk about the different characteristics of these different organisms. Okay. Now, first, before I do that, I'm gonna explain to you that viruses are neither um, prokaryotic or eukaryotic. Viruses are their own subsystem. They're their own species. Viruses are not actually living. Viruses are actually dead. Um, one thing that's uh, I want to tell you guys about viruses is that uh, they their mode of replication is um, can be very very interesting. It's because they can either do it through DNA or RNA replication. Um, uh, viruses are have been a lot around since the I guess the dawn of creation. You could say um, they they mode the mode of a replication for them is by invading um, a host cell, either it be a bacteria, a eubacteria, or a eukaryote. Um, okay, so, and uh, just know that, okay? And uh, bacteria itself is a prokaryote, meaning that it is a uh, one celled organism or a very simple organism. Uh, and fungi um, and protozoa and helminths are eukaryotes, meaning they have multiple cells and are far more complex in um, development and um, uh, interior design as compared to the prokaryotic bacteria. So I'm going to tell you guys um, the different aspects here. Now just keep in mind the, the graph. All right, I'm going to be reading this. Um, I'm going to be reading this from uh, from right to left and from left to right as well. Actually, I'm going to go. I'm going to go down in from from top to bottom. Okay. So first, let's begin with cells. In viruses, we have we see no cells. In the bacteria, we do see cells. In the fungi we do see cells. And in the protozoa and helminths, which are eukaryotes, yes, we do see cells. And the approximate diameter um, in uh, PMs, viruses are within 0.02 to 0.2 PM. Bacteria is 1 to 5 PM. Fungi is about maybe 3 to 10 PM, which is a lot larger. If you notice that um, it's com compared to the bacteria, it's 3 to to 10 times uh, larger. And the protozoa helminths, which is a great example of eukaryote, um, is from 15 to 25 pms, um, a lot larger. As you notice that as the, um, the larger the organism gets, the more complex and the more um, eukaryotic it is. Uh, nucleic acid. Okay, so the viruses, they either have DNA or RNA, but for bacteria, fungi, or protozoa and helminths, they all have both DNA and RNA. So for a type of nucleus, the viruses, they don't have any nucleus. Bacteria, it is a prokaryotic nucleus. For fungi, it's a eukaryotic nucleus. For protozoa and helminths, it's eukaryotic nucleus. Now let's look at that. Now let's look at ribosomes. For viruses, um, it has no ribosomes. Either 70S or 80S, it has none. Bacteria, it has a 70S ribosome. Fungi, 80S. Protozoa and helminths, uh, 80S. For mitochondria, the viruses have no mitochondria at all. Bacteria, they don't have any mitochondria at all. Fungi, they have mitochondria present. Protozoa and helminths, they have mitochondria present. For the nature of the outer surface, viruses, uh, in, the, in the virus, we notice that protein capsid and lipoprotein envelope is, is, um, is present. For bacteria, is we have a rigid cell wall that includes peptidoglycan. Fungi, it has a rigid cell wall, which includes chitin. And protozoa and helminths, they have no uh, cell, mem cell wall. They just have a regular uh, flexible membrane. For motility, viruses, they are unable to move. They don't have any cilia or microglias. Um, bacteria, they have some. They're some motile. Fungi, non-motile. Protozoa and helminths, they are very motile. Uh, they have cilia and um, microglia and flagella. So methods of replication, viruses, um, they do not replicate, um, not by binary fusion. For bacteria, replication through binary fusion. 
fungi for budding or mitosis. Helminths and protozoa, it's primarily mostly mitosis. So these are the main differences and um, no, I just made a main comparison of like really important uh, organisms, um, medically speaking. And humans and animals um, are stratified into the, into the eukaryotic sphere. So we are relatives, so to say, of the fungi and the protozoan helminths. We evolved from those organisms sexually. Um, so basically, this is this is um, a nice chart, and uh, I will expound more on later subjects. Thank you very much for listening. And again, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me anything. Thank you very much, and you have a nice day. Bye.